Time for breakfast. It is one o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> We're gonna head to the beach. We had talked about going to Kennedy Space Center, but I didn't wake up to nearly one o'clock. It closes early, like seven, so it didn't make sense to go. We're gonna get there mid-afternoon. So Caleb's got himself a boogie board, I guess. Right. been a bit of a lazy day. Uh, we went to the beach. How long were we there? An hour and a half? Even that long? An hour? 15 minutes and you were already somewhere. Came back, I took a shower, I hadn't showered yet. And now we're gonna go get some dinner. It's almost five o'clock local time. Caleb had grilled chicken for breakfast. between eighth and ninth grade, my mom took my sister and I to Ocean City, Maryland for a vacation. And I spent the entire day swimming in the ocean. And I didn't like purposely like drink a bunch of ocean water, but you know, when you're in the ocean, you drink a ton of ocean water. So we go up the boardwalk to a pizza place. And I remember we got pepperoni pizza and I ate a bunch of pepperoni pizza, got back to the hotel room and I started feeling bad. Have you ever puked in a way that like it's coming out of your eyes? Like just, like, I mean, just, no. I threw up a ton, but after I threw up, I felt better, and so I'm, I'm trying to get cleaned up, and I literally put my finger over a nostril, and I blew a snot rocket. This is a true story. Ask my sister, Sarah. <laughs> Ask Sarah. Sarah Ann on Facebook. Ask her. True story. I blew a snot rocket. A whole pepperoni flew out of my nose and oh. hit the side of the toilet bowl. It was whole. Had not been chewed. Obviously, it was folded up or Mind something. Mind you, but we're on the way to go eat. <laughs> that's that's one of the best stories I have of my childhood. Uh yeah, we can't have that here. Our customers are feeling really uncomfortable with having. Oh, okay. Food. We just got done at Jazzy's mainly seafood, or is it mainly lobster? What is it? The lobster meat was a little tough, but that might be normal for chilled lobster meat. I don't know, so, um, but very, very yummy. The restaurant was pretty cool. They did shut us down of vlogging, which just always rubs you the wrong way, but people don't like what they don't understand. And if you're a restaurant person, know that this gives you exposure. I would have liked to have shown you the lobster, but I wanted to kind of honor their silly request, so. <laughs> Check out my little setup here to light myself. Kennedy Space Center is that way. You definitely can't see it in this shot. It is 10 after 9 p.m. The launch is at 1245, so we've got quite a while until it actually happens. There's tons of rocket enthusiast nerds out here just completely lining the road, so it's kind of a ni nice, fun atmosphere of a mildly eccentric people. It's going to take off and then also land back at Cape Canaveral Air Force Base or whatever, but the, the rocket's going to take off from like 10 miles that way, and then it's going to land six miles that way. I've got several hours, so I'm gonna go ahead and start doing the edit for today, now. All right, we're within like three minutes of launch, so there's people everywhere.
guys lunch is over, Caleb and I went and got some Taco Bell. I did get most of the episode edited while we were waiting for the launch tonight on the side of the road. I've watched probably every SpaceX video that's ever been made, but nothing will ever prepare you for that. If you get a chance to see any kind of rocket launch, absolutely do it. It was insane, absolutely insane. Thank you for tuning in. I do look forward to seeing you tomorrow on Life in the Flyover. I just realized my frame rate was bad on that. Uh, I'm not gonna redo it, so, so. Life in the Flyover! <laughs> you know me, I'm kind of a rugged, not that sophisticated kind of guy, but I do believe an ambiance is very important. I'm just thinking the plastic clothes and the plastic work, the lobster in his suit. I mean, it just takes it away. All right, so we're checking out, I think the place is called Seafood Atlantic. It's uh, it's right on Port Canaveral. <laughs> Sorry, I had something on my